Hey there, I believe if you're watching this video, it's because this is a divine appointment and I felt so strong in my spirit this morning when I woke up to make this video. Um, God just put it on my heart and it's, I believe if you're watching this, that this is not by accident. Please hear me out. Um, you're most likely somebody who feels like you're the wrong gender trapped in the wrong body either a man who feels like you're trapped in a woman's body or a woman who feels like you're trapped in a man's body. Um, I wanna expose something in this video that um, a lot of people are unaware of, um, mainly just cause you know, we live in a physical realm. There's also a spiritual realm that's alongside that most people have no awareness of. Uh, although there's varying degrees of that awareness, you know, depending on, uh, you know, if you're involved in spiritual things, uh, the occult or even, you know, um, what degree, if you're a Christian, in what degree spiritually you're, have your eyes open. Um, you know, I was someone who had my spiritual eyes closed for a very long time. I, I became a Christian at age 28 and I still remained having my spiritual eyes closed for um, nine years until the Lord opened my spiritual eyes and I have my own testimony. Um, I've shared on my channel. If you want to, you know, you can check that out, but I'm not, that's not why I'm here today. I'm really here to just expose something that I think a lot of people who struggle with this gender identity, um, are unaware of. And so I just felt strongly to make this video and I know it's for somebody specific, maybe a number of people, but if this is really connecting with your heart, I believe that this is a divine intervention and that God is trying to speak to you and let you know that he loves you. He loves you unconditionally. He doesn't, um, his love is not based on your struggles. It's actually um, open for anybody through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the only perfect one to come and um, dine across for the, the sins of humanity. And I feel like the biggest thing that the enemy is doing, Satan himself, the father of lies, is stealing people's identity. He is committing identity theft. Why? Because he's not eligible for redemption. He can never um, be redeemed. But every single human, if you have breath in your lungs, you will, you are eligible for redemption. And so the enemy wants you to believe that God made a mistake with you, that he, he put you in the wrong body, that he, um, somehow got it wrong. Um, there's something called an orphan spirit that makes you think that you are not loved by God. This is a plan of the enemy. And you know, you may, you may feel like, oh, I was born this way. I've always felt this way. Um, or maybe you know that there was a specific time in your life where maybe abuse occurred or trauma and you felt a change where you no longer felt comfortable within your own body. Now, what I'm exposing today is the fact that there are demons who live inside of people. We are a three-part being. We have a body, we have a soul, and we have a spirit. Um... Your, your body is temporary on this earth and your, your soul and your spirit are eternal. And so that Satan himself wants people to believe that God is not, doesn't love them so that he can take them to a place that was created for Satan and demons to be eternally. That place was never made for mankind to be eternally. Um, God wanted people to be with him eternally. That was his original plan. Um, but, you know, with the fall of man, we are born into sin. We are born sinners. It doesn't matter what you struggle with. It doesn't matter, you know, if you struggle with lying. It's the same in God's eyes that, that if you struggle with murder. It's the same in God's eyes. We all have fallen short of the glory of God. And the only way to be redeemed is by accepting Jesus Christ as your savior and receiving his blood to cover you. 
Um, there's a, t a story in the Old Testament. If you never read the Bible, you probably never heard of this. You might have heard of it. It's called Passover. It's where, you know, the Egyptians were being judged um, for being not letting um, God's people go out of the land. And God had them each uh, put the blood of a lamb over the doorpost so that the spirit of death would pass over them. And so that's Jesus Christ's blood is covering us so that when we die, we are not being judged. He took the eternal punishment for our sins on the cross so that we don't have to suffer eternally for our sins. So when you die, you either die in Christ or you die in your sin. I bring all of this up because Satan wants to take as many human beings with him to hell as he can. But every single person is eligible for redemption, no matter what you've done. There's nothing that can um, disqualify you from receiving the love of God through Jesus Christ. But the enemy doesn't want you to know that. That you can come to Jesus as you are and receive unconditional love. Now, taking this a step further... Um, when I was talking about, you know, you might have been born, you might, might feel like you were born this way and why did God make you like this? God did not make um, people a certain way, um, sinfully, that were born into sin. But um, you can be born with a demon. <laughs> you can be born with a curse, um, demonic curse, that causes you to have urges and desires that actually are not yours. You can have demons since you were born. Um, you can also get them as a child from abuse. A lot of people um, that are abused as a child, that is how they received a demon. Now, I don't speak on this as somebody who doesn't know. I didn't know I had a demon, demons, let's just say, I didn't know I had demons my whole life until a couple years ago. And I had so much self-hatred. I had so much anger. I had all these things that I was dealing with that I thought were me. I thought all these uh, negative thoughts I was having were me because I had always had them. I had always struggled with it. Um, I never for once thought it wasn't me. But God in his grace opened my spiritual eyes and helped me see that I had demons. And then when I went and got deliverance and had demons cast out of me, when I left, the thoughts were gone. They were not my thoughts. So I say all this to say that if you are struggling with a gender identity, there is a chance that that is a demon telling you that you are in the wrong body, um, a lot of people that struggle with identity issues also have anxiety and depression and, and other things because the, the devil's number one goal is to steal your God-given destiny. One, that's salvation through Jesus Christ. And two, that's another purpose that God created you for on this earth. He, Satan's whole job is to try to steal that from you. So... One of the biggest ways he's done that in this generation is by stealing people's identity, identity theft. He's he's pulled it off. Um, and he, I'm going to pray at the end of this video because I want you to know that I want you to know if you have a demon. And when you... When I pray and the power of God hits you and you manifest something or something is weird in your body or you hear something saying, no, don't listen to them, or you are going to know that's actually not my thought. Wait a minute. That's not my thought. Um, I'm, I'm here to expose the plan of the enemy today so that you can see that God does love you. He loves you just how you are. He loves you. He created you. And, you know, when, when, um, Jesus Christ says, repent and turn and come to come to come to God through Jesus Christ. He says, I am the way, the truth and the life. And no one comes to the father, but through me, he says, repent. 
Now, the number one thing you have to repent of is believing the lie that God doesn't love you. God would have never made a way to redeem you if he didn't love you. And he made a way that has nothing to do with you changing your behavior. <clears throat> it's literally accepting Jesus. When Jesus was hanging on the cross, taking the punishment for our sins... So that's what we're accepting when we accept Jesus, that he already took the punishment for our sins, so we don't have to be punished for them. Um, there, was a, there was two men, one on each side of him. They were both mocking him at once. Um, but then one of them, when, when the sky grew dark and he started realizing, like, no, this is actually, this, this is a God man. This is not just a regular man because the whole creation was... Uh, uh, proclaiming that Jesus Christ was the son of God when he was on that cross. The sky went dark, there was an earthquake, and a lot of things happened that um, everyone around knew. And so this man says, Jesus, when you, when you go into your kingdom, remember me today. And Jesus said, you're going to be with me today in paradise. And that just proves that there's nothing you have to change about yourself to come to Jesus. You just need to come to Jesus as you are and let his love fill that hole that you know you have inside of you. Everyone has an emptiness, a loneliness that only God can fill. I know this for a fact. I wasn't looking for Jesus when I got saved. He came looking for me. Um, it says, while we were yet sinners, Christ died for us. He's not looking for you to clean up your life. He's just looking for you to come and say, I need you as my savior, because, um, it takes that, that step of humility. Sorry, I have a newborn here, but this video was really heavy on my heart. So I wanted to get it done. Um, Demons are masters at making you think that they are you, okay? They cause a lot of confusion. Um, they cause a lot of fear, anxiety. But, yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and pray because um, I just want people to be set free in Jesus' name. So, Father, in the mighty name of Jesus, I just pray for anyone who's watching this video, Lord, that you would show them what is behind these uh, confusing thoughts, these thoughts of their identity. Lord, I pray that you would penetrate their hearts with your love, that you would open their spiritual eyes to see the truth of who Jesus Christ is and that he is the Savior of the world, that whoever comes to him will not perish but will have eternal life. May many come to him, Lord. In Jesus' name, I pray, Holy Spirit, that you would touch the people watching this video. I pray that you would put your finger on anything, any demon, Lord, that has tried to steal their God-given identity and steal their um, your plan of redemption for them. I just pray you expose them now in Jesus' name. I pray the enemy be exposed in the mighty name of Jesus. I pray the light of God on, on, those, are <clears throat> on those areas in Jesus' mighty name. I come against you, spirit of confusion, manifesting go in Jesus' mighty name. I come against you, you orphan spirit, you spirit that's been lying to these people, making them think that God doesn't love them. I command you in Jesus' name to be bound and to leave in Jesus' mighty name. Holy Spirit, I just pray you fill up these um, places, Lord, that you would just have many people accept the truth about your love for them and, and who you are and your plan for their life. I just, yes, open spiritually blinded eyes, Father, in Jesus' mighty name. And may many captives be set free in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. May many people be set free in Jesus' mighty name. And Lord, I just feel like there's someone on here who, um, who, who's questioned why you made them this way. Lord, I pray that you would show them that it was never your plan. That this was the enemy's plan being um, played out, not yours. Your love covers a multitude of sin. Your perfect love casts out fear. I pray you cast out every spirit of fear out of the people watching in Jesus' name. 
Lord, I just pray, Father, that um, if anyone's ever asked, God, are you real? And their true heart cry was not asking if you're real, God, but if you really love them. Lord, that you would shatter that wall that has every, every brick wall, every hardness of heart be shattered now in Jesus' name. May they receive the love of God. May re they receive the love of the Father in Jesus' name. May they feel your arms hugging them right now in Jesus' name. I just pray, Father, for many to come to know your love and to know your grace and to know your peace, the peace that passes all understanding. I pray, Father, that people would know your love. God's love, people, are is inexplainable. When it touches you, you know it. And you cannot mistake it. So I just pray, Father, right now that you would touch these people with your love. In Jesus' name. Well, thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about deliverance, if you felt something um, while watching this video, if you felt the love of God, if you have questions, if you need resources about um, getting connected with people that know and love Jesus. If you need more deliverance, if you need demons cast out, there are resources available to you. Um, I just pray that the Holy Spirit would work in your life and continue to show you the path that God has for you, the freedom that God has for you. Thank you so much for watching. God bless you. And, um, Feel free to re reach out in the comments. Like I said, I have many resources I would be happy to share with you. And just that you would know the love of God like never before is my prayer for each and every person in Jesus' name. Thank you for watching.